I'm Ed Kelly and I'm a sound artist and what I've been doing here is I've been, for the last two months, I've been creating an interactive four-channel sound installation that responds to senses. So when someone walks into the space, then they activate the, the clips. It doesn't hurt to make a cup of tea for the victim. But it's not a recorded piece in that it's not, uh, it's not linear. So there will always be a different sequence of clips. Uh, there are nearly 1,500 audio clips in the piece and when you walk into the space you've got two speakers that are playing found sounds from the building of which there are 978 of believe, and two speakers are playing either piano or um, one of the students here reading some poetry lines that I've written um, and the, the piano consists of me playing the piano me throwing ping pong balls at the piano me throwing tennis balls at the piano I mean, playing the piano with those things on the strings, it's not just music, it's, there's some interactions with physics as well. I, have nothing but for you, I think I've learned, I've learned a lot about freedom in a way, because I've worked with a lot of students over the years with sensor driven projects and things that, that, that they've done. Um, but I haven't had much of an opportunity to work on my own projects that are um, responding to people in the space. Um, and I think I've learned a lot about how to set that up and how to make it interesting. I think it was a lot about like learning different sort of qualities of meaning about sounds, you know. And that's what I wanted to learn. I set out to learn those things and I set out to practice them and to sort of really kind of delve into them in an experimental way. And I think I've got somewhere where I'm really happy with like my own understanding of meaning in sound has kind of developed a long way. It's become, you know, more of a, more of a, um, more of a tool for experimentation than it was before. <laughs>